I'm so confident that you guys get mathematical induction as an overall process that I am not going to tell you a single thing to write down for the first two and a half steps. I'm going to get you guys to tell me everything. So I know nothing about mathematical induction. How would you like me to begin? Come on, Fenora, you can give me a first step. Okay, so rather than use the word prove, by the way, I'm going to use the word so I don't know nothing about mathematical induction. I'm going to use the word test because I'm actually doing something different, right? I'm checking. I'm not really proving anything. So I'm just going to test that. Now, what was the value that we started with? N equals one. Really? Eight. Wow, guys, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 characters into the question, and then we stopped reading. We can read more than 15 characters, can't we? First proper value is going to be n equals 8. Okay? Now what would you like me to do? We can do either. Uh, you said left first, let's just go with it. Because as you know, like we're going to test both sides eventually anyway. Uh, we know what the left-hand side looks like. It's going to be... You rank, can you tell me? You can see it on the board. It's going to be... Can you tell me what to write at least? You don't have to tell me what the answer is. Thank you very much. If you know your powers are two really well, then you'll know this is 256. So if you're not, that's okay. You've got a calculator there for that reason. There's the left-hand side. I guess I'll do the right-hand side now. What are we going to write? 3 times 8 squared. That's 3 times 64, which last I checked was 192. Okay. Uh, is the inequality true for n equals 8? It is true. There's the left, there's the right. Therefore, what I want is good. So I've got my first value, happy times. Okay. What was the second step? I've tested. Now I'm going to make an assumption. What is my assumption again? For some arbitrary value k, but don't forget k is not just any number. k is the same kind of number that n is, right? So I'm going to write that all down. Like so. This doesn't take too much thought. I'm just going to replace all my n's with k's. Wonderful. What am I trying to prove? Four. Dominic, you can help me out. Thank you very much. And you're doing so well. Why don't you tell me what actual line I'm going to write? Very good. Don't forget, just like before, you're putting k plus 1 into there. The whole thing is being squared. Um, don't cheat on your brackets. You really need them. OK. That's what I need. OK. That's what I'm after. But I said to you before, we can aim for you know, getting everything on one side and then proving that that's greater than 0. That is one method of proof, and it's totally fine. But there's this other way. And depending on the kind of question you get, sometimes one strategy will be superior to another or more efficient. Okay? Almost always you can use either, but I need you to be able to use both because sometimes you can't use either and there's really only one path that will get you efficiently to the question. Okay? So this time what I'm going to do is I'm instead of getting everything on one side, I'm going to start with the assumption. My first line of working is going to be this. Do you see that? There's the assumption right there. Okay. Here comes my proof. Because the very first thing that I use is the assumption, I'm just going to write it as it is. And right away, immediately, I have to say, by assumption. <coughs> OK? Now, at this point, I'm now thinking, right? I want to get towards here. You remember how in all like trick identity and proofs by induction that we've seen before, you've always got your eye on the prize, right? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work with this 
in such a way as to get it to here, right? Uh, in previous questions, you've been working with this thing to try and see where's the assumption in there, right? You don't need to do that anymore. Why not? Why don't I need to have to look in this thing to find where the assumption is? I've already used the assumption, right? It's done. The inductive hypothesis has been assumed. So I don't need to search for it again. It's been, it's been substituted in. Now I need to get to here. That's my goal. Okay.